Hi, welcome to Raw Math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on systems of equations and specifically supply and demand. Okay, the following table shows the supply and demand for aluminum. So we have, if the supply were 140 units and the demand was 60 units with a price of $30, Supply was 120 units, demand was 80 units with a price of $25. The idea is we're trying to make the supply and demand the same number of units at the one price point. We're trying to do that so that we can maximize profits. At the end of the day, businesses care about profit. So what we're going to do is we're going to find our ordered pairs for supply, figure out an equation for supply. Find our order to repairs for demand, find a, an equation for demand, and then we'll use those two equations to find an equilibrium point, the point at which we can maximize our profit. Okay, what two ordered pairs are used for supply? So for supply, we have 140 with 30 and 120 with 25. Find the linear equation. So this is just finding an equation of a line between two points. We are going to use the variable P for both of our outputs and just X for our input. So we'll start with slope. Slope is, let's see, this is our second point, this is our first, so we'll say 25 minus 30 over 120 minus 140, which is negative five over negative 20. And we are going to go to decimal. For those of you who know me, I love fractions, but because this is an application, we will actually go to decimal. Okay, so I said we'll use P for output, so we will use, um, doesn't really matter, so we'll just use the first point. So P minus 30 equals 0 0.25 X minus 140. I like using... Um, point slope form of a line because we automatically have an equation of a line and a little bit of manipulation will be done. I'm going to distribute p minus 30 equals 0 0.25x minus 35. I add the 30 over and p is equal to 0 0.25x minus 5. So this becomes my equation for supply. Okay, next, what two ordered pairs are used for demand? So for demand, we have 60, 30, and notice for my ordered pairs, I always put it in parentheses without parentheses, it's not an ordered pair. And my second point is 80, 25. Find the linear equation for demand. So I'm gonna scooch this up. We don't really need the table now that we have our, all our ordered pairs. Um, so if I leave it about here, we can still see the ordered pairs. I don't know if we really need them, but we'll see. Um, okay. So again, we'll find the slope. So 25 minus 30 over 80 minus 60 is negative 5 over 20, which is again going to be 0.25, but in this case, it's going to be negative. 0.25. Um, okay, I'm going to use the first point again, and I'm going to say P minus 30 equals negative 0.25 X minus 60. Again, I'm going to distribute in P minus 30 is a negative 0.25 X plus 15. I'm going to add my 30 over, and P will equal negative 0.25 X plus 45. And this right here will be my equation for demand. So now I have a demand equation and a supply equation. So if I scooch this up, the next question says find the equilibrium point. And the equilibrium point is the point at which these two equations intersect. So I have um, my supply equation and my demand equation and my equilibri equilibrium point is a point of intersection and that is the point that will hopefully maximize my profit. Okay, so I want to know when 0.25x minus 5 is equal to negative 0.25x plus 45. So I'm going to add the 0.25x 
to both sides. And I'm going to add the five to both sides. So I have 0.5x is equal to 50. Divide by 0.5. And I'm going to get that x is equal to 100. Then I want to test 100 into both of my equations to make sure all my math is correct. So p is equal to 0 0.25 times 100 minus 5. And if I plug all of this into a calculator, I get 20. p is equal to negative 0.25 times 100 plus 45, and if I plug this into a calculator, I get 20. It says to write my answers in ordered pairs, so the quantity is 100, and the price point is $20, and I'm gonna make sure I put that dollar sign in so that I have my answer labeled. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks!